action. Well, I figure I'd show you some of my machines that I got here. All my steels. First, I got the steel BG55. Still have that. Of course, I got my brand new steel FS90R sitting here on the saw table and the leaf blower too. Still got the yard boss. Just haven't ran it in a while. Gonna have to start it up and drain all the gas out of it because winter time is only a couple of months away. Right now it's October. October, I think, 8th, I believe. Let's see if. Let's see, uh. Yep, it's October 8th. Last week. Last week was was the first, last Friday. I still have the old FS55R and the FS45. The oldest still I got, the 2000s models, is the FS55R. I got another weed eater that's, that's even the 90s model still, and that's the FS36. But, I gotta find a new cover for it for an air cleaner I gotta take it to the shop I gotta take it to Jerry's Reynolds because there's something wrong with the choke that's why I had a hard time starting it before all it was was the daggum choke not catching if I put a screwdriver on that brass colored fin that, that closes when I turn the choke on and then when I turn the choke off it actually turns opens the fin but when I go to try to close the fin, the fin doesn't move. It's just the latch that moves. And then I have to use a screwdriver, a fly headed or a Phillips, doesn't matter. As long as it's small enough, it'll fit in there. I close it, and then, of course, it'll fire up a lot easier. Which, that's good. But, yep. The FS55R was manufactured on March 2008. And both my FS45 weed eater and the steel MS170 chainsaw were both manufactured on September 2008. Chainsaw still runs great. And that's good. And I guarantee the steel MM55 yard boss still runs great too. You can't kill a steel. It'll start right up every time. And it was manufactured... March 2010. My leaf blower, I look at the sticker, it was manufactured on January 2010. And my weed eater, it's pretty much the newest one in the family because it was made in July of 2010. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much all my stills so far. The ones I use a lot, or use often, pretty much the one that don't use, get used much often is the Yard Boss, but... <laughs> Ugh, excuse me. Hang on it. But I'm hoping that one of these days, that I can... When it's nice, I can get this out and fire it right up and burn all the gas off. Or just go ahead and drain it like the book says and just, just run the engine until the carburetor goes dry. That's what I'll pretty much just do instead. I mean, I just got it. I got everything air blasted. And I guarantee this is going to pretty much going to sit for the rest of the winter. I mean, gardening season's pretty much ended. Yeah, still got to use the old commercial weed eater. Well, pretty much the professional model. The FS90R. Really good weed eater. You definitely got to get one of these, folks. Even though it's like three hundred dollars, but it's well worth it. But this, but this weed ear was a gift. The other two were bought. The FS fifty five R was two hundred dollars. The FS forty five was one hundred forty nine dollars. Of course, tax. The still MM fifty five. It's like three hundred seventy nine dollars plus tax for where I live so far. 
and the steel BG55 leaf blower. I, I forget what price, but I guarantee it was the same as the FS45 weed eater. Well, the steel MS170 chainsaw, it was, well, usually the price is $179, but when I got it, it was, it went up 10 bucks. So it was $189 plus tax. That sucks, but oh well. At least I got it though. I think, I think what I'm going to have next in my steel collection of yard tools and cutting firewood tools and g even gardening tools. Mowing, gardening, leaf blowing, and grass blowing, any debris blowing, and of course firewood cutting. That's pretty much what I'm going to get next is the, the farm boss. That's what I'm hoping I'm getting. That's like 300 it's like $400, so I'm on an account, so this is not 100% paid off yet, but we're, well, I'll get there. The payments pretty much are slowing down because it's getting close to winter time. During the summer, I also got the leaf lower on an account. That got paid off fast because I was making money. But the days we got the, that I got the uh, FS55R, the FS45, the steel MS-170. I didn't get them all in one day. It was just separate times. Got They were fully paid off when I, when I got them. I'm not sure if the FS-90R was fully paid off, but like I said, who cares? It's, it's mine. I'd love to have one. Oh, man. I, I need some of that. It was more, not only more powerful, but a lot less emissions. I I mean, I really don't give a stinking, stinking hoot about air pollution because of where I live, because it's only a small town. But it's just, I just don't like the emissions that much. I know my leaf blower gives off a little bit. It's not that bad. I know my, my yard boss, it gives off a little bit. That's no big deal. It's just the FS55R and the FS45 are pretty much the worst. Mostly the 55R. I may have to get the carburetor adjusted. Maybe. Maybe that's the problem. It might be burning a little bit too rich. But anyways, at least they all run. That's the most important thing. Even if they're burning too lean or too rich. But I'd rather have it burn too rich than too lean. That'd be bad if it was burning too lean. But, yep. I got a steel sticker on here. It says steel sales and service. Jerry's Reynolds. Yep. All these machines, including my new weed eater, are all from Jerry's Small Engines and Reynolds. Chainsaw, weed eaters, and all. Blower and the yard boss. And I can't wait to get the farm boss. That's going to be next on my list. Yeah, and if I have the change of heart. I don't know, I might get a steel hedge trimmer. But, I don't know. I might not. Because I got that home light hedge trimmer. And it runs great. Don't get me wrong. It's it's a very old department store brand hedge trimmer. Seems the old department store brand stuff were a little bit tougher back in the day. Even though steels are still tough no matter what. At least... At least... At least they were tougher back in the day, but I wouldn't even trust buying a, a weed eater brand weed eater at Walmart today. I'd be able to just fall apart and within two hours of use. Like if I want to buy one and then use it in squim, I bet it would just fall right apart. But the FS45, it'll just keep on going and going and going, even though it's a residential model. I know... The FS90R will last for a long, long, long time because it's the pro model. So there you go. That's pretty much it for now. We're gonna give you make a video of all my stills. Yep, chainsaw, both, both the weed ears. Well.
the three weed eaters, both the residential and the commercial professional model, and the yard boss tiller and the leaf blower, the BG55. So, yep, that's pretty much it. So, y'all have a good night, and bye-bye.